Hello and welcome to Frogty Frog Crochet and this stitch guide on how to crochet the jagged stitch. So this is a really unusual stitch that makes a, a strange looking texture that's almost like a bent post. To start this stitch you're going to need a foundation chain in multiples of two plus two for your turning chain. So to start the jagged stitch we're going to make a double crochet in the fourth chain from a hook. So the turning chain counts as your first stitch in this, so I marked the first chain from my hook with a stitch mark to keep track of it. And then row one, we're just going to make a double crochet in each stitch across. So this allows us to set up ready to make our jagged stitches in the next row. So just double crochet in every stitch for row one. And last one. Okay, and that's row one. So then we turn and chain one. So we're going to make a double crochet turning chain in our first stitch. And then we're going to start our jagged stitches. So your jagged stitches are made over two stitches. So to start, yarn over. Around the post of the next stitch, insert your hook and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Leave two loops on your hook. Now we're going to insert a hook into the top loops of the next stitch. So this is the second stitch we're working over going to yarn over and pull up a loop. So you've got three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And that is your jagged stitch. So it looks like it's actually made in the row below because it's here. And we start with a straight part and then it just jags out to make it a bit wonky. And that's how a jagged stitch is made. Then chain one. Okay, so we're going to start our next jagged stitch in the next stitch. So we finish the last one here, around the post of the next stitch, and then yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Insert your hook into the top loops of the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And then chain one. And you repeat this all the way across the row. So the chain one after your stitch keeps our stitch count because we have a single stitch spanning two stitches right now. And the chain one will bring your stitch count right. So yarn over, insert your hook around the post of the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Insert your hook into the next stitch. There is no yarn over going into the stitch, you just hook straight in. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Chain one. And you keep doing this until you have one stitch left in your row. So after you make your last jag stitch, just make sure you chain one before making a double crochet in the last stitch of the row. And then that's row two complete. So I'm gonna turn, chain one, make a double crochet turning chain in the first stitch. Okay, so this is a row of double crochet, but we need to make sure we're making it in the right loops. So in the chain one space, 
we're going to make a double crochet, but we're only going to use the front loop of the chain. Okay, so make sure you're only working into the loop of the chain and make a double crochet. Then the next stitch, make a double crochet in both loops. In the chain space, you're going to be working into the chain itself, but only that front first loop and make a double crochet. And you repeat this across the row. Working through both loops of the next stitch, which will be in your jagged stitch. And the next stitch is a chain one space. You're making a double crochet using the front loop only of the chain. Use both loops for the next stitch, which is your jagged stitch. Then use the front loop only of the chain of the next stitch. And just double crochet all the way across. So last jagged stitch, double crochet. There is no chain one between that last stitch and the jagged stitch. So once you've made that double crochet in the jagged stitch, make a double crochet in the last stitch of the row. And that's row three. So the rest of the jagged stitch is a repeat of rows two and three. And there is your stitch guide on how to crochet the jagged stitch. I would love to see what you create with this unusual stitch. Please do come and show us in our Facebook group, Frog to Frogs Ribbons and Stitch. You can find the link beneath this video. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well for more crochet stitches, crochet patterns and crochet hints and tips as well. So thank you for watching and I shall see you next time in the next video. Bye for now.